In the vehicle template, we're going to find the ability to quickly create a vehicle and get it on the road. We get gamepad and keyboard input. It is VR ready. We get some basic animations for such as the wheels, physics based movement, and then vehicle engine fine tuning. Let's go ahead and run our template and we'll see a basic car. If we were to go forward or backwards, you'll notice our gears change and then we do get a kilometer per hour readout. We can of course steer and it's going to react naturally based on the settings. Now, if we were to go over something such as this little area over here, as this is the vehicle template, we're going to get basic handling, such as if we were driving a box with four wheels. If we were to look at the setup for the vehicle itself, we'll find the basics for moving it, but we will also find the vehicle movement component. And this is where a lot of our settings are for the actual vehicle itself. We can determine the number of wheels, and how heavy it is and how our wheels are set up, but we also get the mechanical setup. Torque curves, engine setup such as RPMs and damping. We get the differential setup, including the different types. So we get better different handling based on if it's a four wheel drive, front wheel or rear wheel. We get things such as the transmission setup for our different gears and our ratios to determine our speeds, maximum, minimum, as well as our shifting points. Now, if we want to take this further, well, we could turn this into something more like our vehicle a game, which is included on the learn tab in the marketplace. This is basically the vehicle template, just more stuff. If we were to run through this, we'll find we have some user interface. We have a little bit of a UI on the bottom with our speed, with some materials. When we drive our vehicle, we'll find that we have our lights in light up if we're going backwards or braking. We get a little bit of a dust effect, which is some particles, and then we can drive on our track. You'll notice our speedometer is accurately working as we're changing through the different gears. It just reads the information. Our vehicle is able to navigate basically. This is using the basic vehicle template, so we don't have anything advanced, such as advanced suspension. We do have multiple paths. This is all created with splines, really simple to make landscape splines and roads out of this level. Our sounds adjust as we play. They are position-based audio. So like when we go through the city, we'll hear different bits of sound as compared to when we're out here with nothing. And then we have some basic checkpoints. You'll notice it says checkpoint every so often. That's where we'll recover in case we crash or go off the road. And it also keeps track of making sure we're following the path correctly as we have different laps. And that was created with a little bit of time and some artistic license in order to create something from our basic vehicle template. And this is an example of what you can do using the vehicle template.